Ford is fresh from releasing loads of details about its all-important new generation Ranger pickup. Today we are going to tell you everything we know about the Ford Ranger Hybrid. So if you are looking for a big sized and super comfortable vehicle, you gotta join us. Let's get started. Ford is slowly joining the big companies in the electrification process and its next step for the Ford Ranger will be a hybrid. And shortly after, the lineup will include a Ford Ranger Electric to complete the options. Headlining the Ranger will be a new 3.0-liter turbo diesel V6, replacing the aging 3.2-liter 5-cylinder unit, while a pair of 2.0-liter turbo diesels are also on the cards for Australia, a single turbo and a twin turbo. Some international markets will get an entry-level petrol engine too, but despite the brand's proclamations about electrification, executives were coy when asked about Ford's intentions and the possibility of a hybrid or plug-in hybrid Ranger. The third-generation T6 platform the next-gen Ranger is capable of and has been future-proofed for different propulsion technologies going forward, is all that Ian Faustin, Ford's chief T6 platform engineer, would say when asked. While Ford is yet to confirm it, the electrified Ranger is expected to be a plug-in hybrid that combines either a 2.3-liter or 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine with at least one electric motor. Unveiled in late 2021, the new generation Ford Ranger looks as impressive as the new F-150. It sports large matrix LED headlights with C-clamp daytime running lights, just like the American Cousin. A taller and broader radiator grille emphasizes the pickup's width and adds aggression. Like the F-150, the radiator grille features a two-bar portion in the center cutting into the headlights. However, the Australian-designed one-ton doesn't have active grille shutters like the all-American full-size pickup. The all-new model features power bulges on the hood for an imposing appearance, and the significant change will be a boxier, more sculpted look that will be more on trend for a modern truck. The side profile is similar to the current Ranger, but not identical. Sophisticated, concave surfacing on the door panels and a subtle shoulder line down the sides bring the truck's design freshness. Moving to the rear, like the headlights, the taillights are available in a choice of halogen and LED units, and they feature the signature graphics on the front. Thousands of existing Ranger owners worldwide influence the design of the next-generation Ranger. What about the interior? Well, it's becoming more minimalistic, contemporary, and more car-like. The dashboard still has a familiar truck-like appearance, but the AC vents, steering wheel, and center console have slimmed down. Reduced switchgear and other physical controls, a 12-inch SYNC 4 portrait touchscreen infotainment, and a fully digital instrument cluster give the interior a cleaner and more sophisticated styling. And since we mentioned digital stuff, we also got to tell you about all of its tech features. The next-gen Ranger project was led by Ford's Product Development Center in Australia. Its international team of dedicated designers and engineers worked with teams around the globe to not only incorporate the very latest in Ford technology, capability, and safety, but to also engineer and test the Ranger to Ford's toughest standards. Our team was focused on one goal, to make this Ranger the toughest and most capable we've ever created. They put it through one of the most exhaustive global testing schedules we'd ever developed and would not rest until we were satisfied that it was built Ford Tough said Graham Pearson, Ranger Vehicle Program Director. Remote start, vehicle status, and remote lock and unlock functions are available on a mobile app, and Ford PowerUp wireless software updates should allow expanding the list of connected vehicle features conveniently in the future. Tech highlights include a 360-degree camera and a QI wireless phone charger. Actually, Ford is at the front of the automotive tech wave, coming up with new ideas and conveniences every year. The all-new Ranger is the toughest and most capable Ranger Ford ever made. The company has brought extensive technical changes that improve its performance, ride and handling, strength, and efficiency. An upgraded chassis lies beneath the new bodywork, the wheelbase is 50 millimeters longer, and the track is 50 millimeters wider. The longer wheelbase means improved space for the occupants. As for the 50 millimeter wider track, Anthony Hall, Ranger Vehicle Engineering Manager, says that it makes a huge difference, especially in the cargo box. For some basic items, such as a sheet of building plywood or a full size, it will be possible to load them flat. The engineers pushed the front wheels of the Ranger forward by 50 millimeters for a better approach angle and outboard for improved off-road articulation. They moved the rear suspension dampers outboard of the frame rails for an improved ride. Customers can choose from two four-wheel drive systems, an electronic shift on the fly system, or a more off-road focused full-time four-wheel drive system. Dual recovery hooks in the front bumper now make off-road recovery easier. Ford has not formally confirmed a hybrid variant for the Ranger yet, but it is reported that Ford plans to launch a Ranger plug-in hybrid in 2024. What we have said publicly is we're future-proof for a form of electrification, so that's the only statement we've made. Certainly, we're going to see evolution and Ford continues to invest in electrification globally. Our compass needs to be about the customer, particularly with pickups and trucks. There's towing and carrying, so development needs to be built around customers and their usage patterns. It has to be customer-led, said Andrew Burkick, Ford Australia's CEO. 
Ford employees confirmed the new Ranger had been developed with the ability to adopt hybrid powertrains in the future. At this stage, rumors and leaks suggest the Ranger will either get a traditional battery electric hybrid engine or a plug-in hybrid powertrain, the latter typically providing a pure electric driving range of up to 50 kilometers, give or take. Ford can actually be one of the leading companies offering electric cars because its F-150 Lightning and Mach-E are really amazing innovations. Actually, the Ford F-150 Lightning has plenty of cool features that make it a better option than the gas-powered F-150. First of all, it has Pro Power on board, which allows drivers to power tools and appliances using outlets, and some upper trim level models like the Lariat or Platinum come with a whopping total of 11 power outlets. These outlets are located in the trunk, cab, and truck bed of the electric pickup truck. Now, some models will also feature intelligent backup power, a mode that allows drivers to use the truck as a backup generator. And the electric pickup has a mega power trunk, a huge front storage space that takes advantage of the lack of an engine. Consumers compare vehicles to get a sense of which vehicle offers more desirable traits. To begin comparing vehicles, you need a reference point. The F-150 Lightning has the potential to become the quintessential electric pickup truck because of its price, timing, and standard features. The Ford F-150 Lightning doesn't need to outperform competitors to outsell them, as is the case with the F-150 and Ram 1500. It just needs to become the first choice of the minds of consumers looking for affordability and practicality. The F-150 Lightning is sure to shock the world and make major waves in the automotive industry. And now, Ford is rolling out its first major update to its Blue Cruise Advanced Driver Assist system, adding hands-free lane changing and several other new features. The company just announced this last week. Blue Cruise, which Ford is positioning as a viable competitor to GM's Super Cruise and Tesla's Autopilot systems, first launched in 2021, with the Mach-E in a sense rolled out to 75,000 Ford and Lincoln owners. The software update, Blue Cruise 1.2, will arrive this fall, starting with the 2023 Mustang Mach-E, before landing with other models. Both updates will include three new features, lane change assist, predictive speed assist, and in-lane repositioning. Lane Change Assist will automatically perform a lane change when requested by the driver tapping the turn signal and can even suggest a lane change if the vehicle appears to be in slow-moving traffic. Predictive Speed Assist automatically adjusts the speed as drivers approach a sharp curve and will signal the driver ahead of time when a speed change is about to occur. And in-lane repositioning keeps the vehicle in its lane while subtly shifting its position away from adjacent vehicles, especially bigger ones like semi-trucks. These improvements are just the beginning of a constant journey toward improving safety and giving customers a valuable time back, Doug Field, who runs Ford's electric and autonomous division Model E, said in a statement. So, Ford is entering the futuristic era step by step, trying to compete with the leading automotive companies. Maybe one day, it's going to be at the top of the list. But what do you think about the Ford Ranger Hybrid? Do you think Ford can be one of the leading companies producing electric or semi-electric cars? Let us know in the comments down below.